here, but uh, again, you want to give Duke my own left and right uppercut. Referee Steve Willis has seen enough. Casimiro retains the title. Is in the black and gold trunks. Micah in the brown with gold. And you know, the boxing business has a lot of road warriors, but what separates Casimiro is that he has significant wins in eight different countries. And speaking of road warrior, may Watch pro wrestling head. legend Watch road warrior head. Animal, aka Joe Laurinaitis, rest in power, Al, as a quick start as expected in the opening minute of this title fight. Yeah, that's a very nice uh, reference you made. You know, the, it, 13 years uh, uh, as a boxer, and yet this is the first time Casamero has appeared on television in the United States. So a bit of a coming out party for him. And he's coming out. Very active along with Micah. Micah parries that jab, Abner, as he tries to find a way to navigate a route that's not going to result in him getting lit up with these punches. Well, Micah trying to keep Casemiro on the outside, trying to keep him in his distance, obviously, Micah having the reach. But uh, Casemiro, he's, he does a really well job, job of getting in. He's a... He, d he doubles jabs all the time. Oh. He has great, great body work. Digs with the right Dangerous. uppercut to the body, knocking the air out of Duke Micah. But Micah coming forward, trying to establish the long-range jab. You know, Micah has 19 knockouts since 24 wins, but five of his last six have been by decision. So as he stepped up in competition, uh, he's getting fewer knockouts. But he's a very proficient technical fighter, and I think... People will see that as this fight uh, continues. Terrific pace to begin things here on a pay-per-view. A sharp jab through the guard by Casimero. Break! Step back. I got you. Watch your elbow. Watch your elbow. Both men are good body punchers. 50% of the punches Michael lands are to the body, and we've seen Casimero really do good work early. Under a minute remaining, Micah missing with that overhand no, 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 no. right and a, a no. little grappling no, no, no. between Casimiro and Micah here in the opening stanza. Some great body work on display. Micah and Casimiro attacking the body. Something uh, we all like to see more of in the sport of boxing, Abner. Most definitely. I mean, the body work is, is obviously something that, that you have to do inside the ring, especially if you want to break down a fighter. And Casimiro, he does it really well. Especially in the beginning of the fight, you want to tire out a, a, a fighter in Micah. And Al, Micah expending a lot of energy, really winding up with those power shots and catches. Casimiro with that right cross. Up, yeah, that's up. a result of the jab she's Hands are free. Break. I got you. Expending a lot of energy through the opening round, and these two 118 pounders are capable of doing it. What a pace to pick off this title fight. Oh. Zier, best known as the trainer Daniel Jacobs and Sergey Dervianchenko, who you will see challenging one of the Charlo brothers coming up in our first main event as Micah attacking Casamero. You know, if you're Duke Micah, you have to feel good about that first round because it was a very close round and Casimiro did good work, but so did Micah. And you know, at 29, stepping way up in competition, uh, coming over here to, to fight Casimiro, he has to feel good about what he did in round one. Great defense shown by Micah uh, doing work right now, Casimiro. But I think Casimiro, what he's doing wrong, he does he does so well getting inside, working the body. But then he takes that step back, just as he did right there. Wow, Micah con hands out. connects with a left hook, straight right, and then an uppercut, putting together a crisp combination out. Yeah, he's, you know, he's a sound fighter, and there you see the jab again. That's why coming into this fight, despite Casimiro's, you know, uh, uh, being the favorite in the fight and the fact that he's the champion, you just knew this was going to be a war, which it is. And Micah connects with the right, then Casimiro oh my. Up and drops Duke Micah in the second round. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You all right? Over here. You all right? Micah was dropped in his last fight of victory, and then for the second time tonight gets dropped, and he is in danger here. Casamero lighting him up, but Micah continues to march forward. And it's early in the round. Those right hands of Casamero have been devastating. Oh. 
And those left uppercuts continue to jolt Duke Micah, but Abner, Duke Micah, as tough as any fighter here in the second round, he's absorbing all kinds of punishment and continues to fire back. And he's trying to continue. We, I mean, uh, look at his feet. He's pretty much gone, but but he's still holding tight. His feet are on inline skates and yet bites down on his gum shield, trying to stave off the swarming attack of Casimiro. <laughs> Casimiro, you know, uh, I don't think that'll be called a knockdown. He is he's showing us how he can get wild, but wow. he still lands punches in that posture. All right. Both of them are wilded out here, Al, in round two, but Casimiro far more effective yeah. as he dropped Mike on the round and that lead right hand to the body, crushing the rib cage. It is astounding how much punishment Duke Mike is able to withstand and then fire back a right cross. It is all 118 pound belt holder John Riel Casimiro belting Michael with the first. Over here. Come over here. Come over here. I'm sorry about that. What are we doing, young man? Watch my finger to the side. All the way over here. Watch my finger. Over here. How are we doing? Headache, double vision? You want to continue? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to watch him now. All right, you got to show us something. You got to show me something now, okay? Show me something. Fox, dude. Dr. Michael Fox. Schwartz taking a look at Duke Micah. Referee Steve Willis telling Micah he has to show him something. Meanwhile, Casamero continues to show off his punching proficiency, hunting down Micah. Micah looks very unsteady. Really unsteady. I don't, I don't think he's fully recovered just yet. Micah, I mean, having trouble finishing this fight. Well, and the other thing is, on top of everything else, he's not a fighter that usually has that kind of lateral movement. And he continues to fire away. Good body shot a moment ago by yeah, Micah. Oh, and a great right cross left hand through the guard by Casimiro. And it continues to be the champion with the more eye-catching shots here but uh, again you want to give duke my oh left and right uppercut referee steve willis has seen enough casimero retains the title with his 21st stoppage and whoa makes me impressed that was kind of a jack palance impression wasn't it <laughs>